Hello, hello. Hello, good evening. Good evening. How are you? I'm very well. How about you? I am doing great. You know, Nice. to the, today in the morning, I was reading your message. Did you read your message in the morning? The Yes. one that you sent on WhatsApp for for <laughs> in the group. Mm, let, let, I I think. <laughs> read it again. I was in I was in the middle of a meeting today when I read your message and I was like, ¿Qué real, Daddy? Let me see. <laughs> There you have your message, right? Para complicar cada okay. una de buen día. Buen día, Paola. Ese. Ajá, pero dice, para complicar cada una de ellas. Es un placer saludarle. Muchas gracias por la información y advertencias. Me estaría al tanto para cumplir, quizás escribir. Yo dije, qué rebelde. Y yo, Edgar. Ya. Es error de dedo y no había fijado. That, that, was, that was a nice way to start my morning. And I was like, qué rebelde. Y Yeah, well, but it, it was good. It was good. Complicate okay. my life. That's perfect. Yeah, so, sometimes we we make mistakes. <laughs> It's okay. It's okay. Well, it is a pleasure to have all of you here. Welcome to your class. Welcome to the final day for our week. Remember that in this module, we have normal classes from Monday to Thursday. And tomorrow, we don't have classes. Okay. You are not going to be like, teacher, not the end of class. What is that? <laughs> I can do it for sure, right? But we don't have classes and I give you vacations. So it would be like, teacher, the class. <laughs> I would be more than glad to help you with that. Well, so today it's, um, we're going to continue working on what we started yesterday. We started with the different requests, right? Would you mind? And I ask you to create a couple of them for us to practice. So I hope that you have them ready. We are going to work on that. And okay, I have some messages on the chat. Let me see. Let me see what's going on. Okay. Oh, okay, okay, Carlita, I understand. Carlita is still sick. Okay, remember to have your cameras on during the complete class because we are going to be uh, following the different requisites of INSA4 and that helps a lot for you to, uh, for you not to have problems, right? For you not to have problems at the moment of uh, when they check the videos and anything. So please keep your cameras on during the complete class. Yesterday, we started working on the different requests and we are going to keep on working on the same topic, but we have some practice. Let me share my screen with all of you and we will start. Okay. Here I go. How was your day, people? Was it good, bad, so-so, excellent? Good. Good teacher. Good. Very good teacher. It was good. Good teacher. <laughs> It was fine. Yeah, I, I don't believe on the good teacher. <laughs> <laughs> I have a, a couple of uh, would you mind examples, right? I have here the first one. Can you help me to read the first situation, people? Could you please? Could you please tell, tell me the next, next time you have a party? The next time you have a party, sure you are I am not at home. Make sure I am not at home. <laughs> Could you please tell me the next time you have a party? I would like to make sure I am not at home. <laughs> so, imagine this horrible neighbor. That's why they don't invite you to the parties because you are very boring. If you are a cool neighbor, they are going to invite you to the parties. What about the next one? 
In you turn in you the stereo off, please. Was I really the sound goes through the sound goes to my apartment. The sound goes through to my apartment, right? So I can listen to everything. What about the next one? Would you mind, mind closing the door, door behind you and, and making, making sure it looks look we don't want to the building to the building. Okay. We don't want any strangers entering to the building, right? Would you mind making sure it locks? So it means that you make sure that the door is actually closed, not only just uh, in a very soft way, so it doesn't close. What about the next one? Would you please? Would you please? Would you please, would you please you tell me your guess to use the parking A lot of our house use my space recently. 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 Would you please tell your guests to use the visitors' parking spaces? A lot of cars have been using my space recently. The last one. Would you mind? Would you mind? Would you mind? Would you mind? your garbage in front of your door? No, so very pleasant to see the hallway. It is not. It is not very pleasant to see it in the hallway. It's like no nos agrada verla en el pasillo. Would you mind not putting your garbage in front of your door? It is not very pleasant to see it in the hallway. What is a very common problem in El Salvador? You don't put it on your door. You put it on your neighbor's door. <laughs> and that is even worse, right? You have to be very careful. What are your examples of your requests with would you mind? What examples did you create? Would you mind to bring me a cup of water, please? Okay, would you mind bringing me? Bring me? Would you bring mind me? bringing bring, me? Bringing me a cup of water. Very well. <laughs> <laughs> I, <laughs> there you go. I had it right, right here. Yeah. You know, I ha I have my cup of coffee here since the very beginning of the previous class, and I never drink it. <laughs> I never drink it. I just keep it here. So, after would you mind, we use ing forms. Después de would you mind, vamos a ocupar una forma de ing. Si se fijan, would you mind closing? Would you mind not putting, right? So in this case, after would you mind, ing. Any other example with would you mind? If it's sure. would. would you mind making a cake for my birthday? Oh, for sure. Let me get it for you. Ta-da! <laughs> making a cake. Ta-da! You have it. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome, sweetie. Any other one? Would you mind? Would you mind? Would you would you mind calling a taxi for me? For sure, right now. I have a friend who can take you. Hello, Don Jaime. Uh huh. Any other? It's correct, teacher. It's correct. Would you mind calling a taxi for me? Right. Would you mind calling a taxi for me? It's good. It's a very good sentence. Any other example? Would you mind, would you mind bathing the dog for me? <laughs> Showering the dog, you say. Showering shower. the dog. But it, because bathe, when you use the word bathe, it's when you put the, for example, the the bathtub or the jacuzzi, and then you enter and you relax and everything, right? Cuando ponen la tina o el jacuzzi, la llenan y se recuesta. That is to bath someone. But to shower is like in a very quick way. To shower or to wash the dog. Would you mind washing the dog for me? But be careful to use wash and not watch. Because that would be like, would you mind watching the door for the dog for me? Uh -huh. 
I'm just watching <laughs> and you don't do anything right but if you say would you mind washing the dog for me uh, sure i will say like traiga el paste and i will wash it there oh wash your dog any other example with would you mind teacher yep. is it correct uh, say will you mind uh, picking up my son after school yeah would you mind picking up my son from school or picking up my son from school because would you, you say, mind closing the door would you mind you closing out? excellent would you mind closing the door when you go out yes uh, going back to jenny you say like, would you mind picking up my son from school or if you say would you mind picking up my son after school it's another option okay cuando termine su escuela y en la escuela so we have the two forms but it's correct Thank you, teacher. And yes, I can do it. Don't worry. It will be my pleasure. Any other example with would you mind? Would you mind would you inviting mind? me to lunch tomorrow? <laughs> Making lunch for me tomorrow. For sure. <laughs> I prepare a very delicious <laughs> pollo campero. Mm. Oh, <laughs> give me the recipe. Oh, Maybe. yeah. You just call a number and it appears on your door. It's okay. really magic. That's easy. <laughs> it's magical. Well, excellent examples, my dear students. Yesterday, we were working on this one. We were working on these different requests with models and with would you mind. When you say, can you, could you, and would you. In this case, you say, can you turn the stereo, the stereo off, please? Could you close the door? Will you take the garbage out? In this case, you say, can you mind? For example, it's not possible. Or could you mind? No. Would you mind? Yes. But that is a different sentence, right? Le importaría? It is like yes or no. You have the option to say yes or no. But if, you, if someone says, te importaría cerrar la puerta, por favor? You say like, yes, for sure, right? It, it is, there is no like, option for you to say no right but if you say can you can you close the door yes i can but i won't do it yes why not <laughs> yes <laughs> if it is your brother or your sister you will say no <laughs> and you go out and you leave it very yes. close and you don't close it <laughs> i used to do that with my sister sister i love you <laughs> If it's like, would you please, would you please take your garbage out? It's like, ah, okay. And then you do it, right? But if I say, would you mind taking your garbage out? It's like, oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> and I take everything without any complaint, right? And you do it like but, that. But, teacher, but, yes. But, uh, but uh, my, 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 my sister and my brother, I, I think that, that, uh, they they answering uh, if I say uh, could you would you mind not uh, would you mind would you please take your your garbage out and then we'll answering why you don't do it yourself <laughs> why don't you have your own money <laughs> yeah I I always say that as well to my brother and sister. When they say, hey, give me $20. No, you give me $20. I say. <laughs> and I give it back. So it is like, yeah, it's a, it's a brothers and sisters thing. Let me just share my screen here. I am going to switch it because I have the presentation, right? I have this one. Yesterday, we were working on this one, right? This was the example that I gave you yesterday. Can you open the door, please? Could you open the window? Could you answer the phone, please? Could you hang up the phone, please? What is the next one? Would you mind? Would you mind your towel? Up your towel? Very good. What is the next one? Can you turn, Can you turn on, the on the computer? Can you turn on the computer? The next one? Can you pick up, Can you pick up, your, up your things? things? Can you pick up your things? What about the next one? That's different, right? If I say, can you pick up your things? 
It's like, recoge tus cosas. And if the next one is, would you mind picking up your things? It's more polite, right? Can you turn on the lights? And the last one is, could you, you wash, wash up, up the dishes? Please, because I don't like to wash the dishes. <laughs> yeah. Do you like to wash the dishes, people? Yes. Yes, I yeah, think. Yeah, yeah. Like Alejandra says no, right? Alejandra is on my team. After the, the, the After it, 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 it. <laughs> Yeah, it is, it is not something that I really enjoy, right? I love cooking. I love cooking, but I don't like to wash the dishes. It's like, gosh, I don't like, but I have to I do it, right? Cooking. <laughs> you don't like cooking? No, I don't. Okay, so Joanna is going to wash the dishes. So-so. <laughs> uh, okay, that's good. I, I can cook and you wash the dishes. That's okay. So here I had the example that I gave you yesterday. After, would you mind, you have an ING form. Answering, hanging, opening, closing, right? Taking, and you have a couple more examples. I have here some sentences for us to practice, okay? And here we have the first one. Take your feet off my chair. Ken, can you take your feet off my chair, please? Please. Right, and the person can be like with the feet there on the chair. Would you mind take this form to the office? How would you make the sentence? Would you mind taking this form take to the office? Form to the office? Very good. Would you mind taking this form to the office? What about the next one? Could. Could you please turn that CD player down? Please turn the CD player down. Number four. Would you mind? Would you mind? Would you mind? Don't leave the door, door open. Don't leave that door open. Aha. Uh -huh. You say, don't leaving or what is the don't correct leave. form of would you mind in negative? Here you have the example. Not. Not, not right not very not good also. so in this case say would you mind not, not leaving, leaving the, the door, door open, open? The door open. what open. about number five wow. would you would you, would you let me share your book would you let me share your book would you let me right. share your book it's like you have your you have a book but i don't have would you let me share your book me dejarías compartir tu libro and what about the the last one ken can you pass me can you pass me that book please okay very good job right very excellent examples i have here some more but in these ones we're going to choose the correct answer could you lend me some money Oh, sure. Oh, sorry. Or no, thanks. <laughs> depending depending on the day of the month, right? Would you mind helping me? And you have three options. What will be the I most appropriate? Sorry, I can't. Sorry, I can't okay. right now. Ah, students. By the way, you are sitting in my seat. Excuse me, I didn't realize. Excuse me. Excuse me, I didn't realize. It's like, uh, sorry, I, I didn't see it. Would you like to come in? All right. All thanks. right. Thanks. All right. All thanks. Right, thanks. Gustaría pasar, right? Would you like to come in? Ooh, All right. Thanks. thanks. Right? <laughs> Here in El Salvador, people go to the street for you not to enter to the house. <laughs> Todos salen a la calle en vez de decirle, pase adelante, no, en la puerta. Ajá, ¿y qué andas haciendo? <laughs> you are like, y es tarde, yeah. <laughs> Showing people away from, from your neighbor. Would you mind not talk? Would you mind not taking all the coffee? I'm sorry, uh, I'll make um, some more. Make some more. I will make some more. It's like, oh, I, I will take my coffee with me and I will make some more. <laughs> Can you turn the radio <laughs> up? No problem. No problem. No problem. I will do it. Right. To the top, right? 
to the top. Hey, a little baby is crying. And in this one. My neighbor. Ah. <laughs> could, you, could you please turn your baby down? <laughs> I am in class. <laughs> okay. Pick up some milk. Here, oh, oh here I have here I have a couple of phrases that we can match, right? That we can match with a sent with column A with column B. What about not criticize? And here you have the options. What will you match it with? Here you have pick up some milk, not criticize the DVDs. Not criticize the my open. Friends. My, my friends. friends. <laughs> my right? friends. My friends. Right? You don't have to criticize my friends. Not criticize my friends. What about the next one? Mail. These letters. Mail these letters, right? What about not talk? So loud. So loud. Not talk so loud, right? Not talk so loud. Put away. The DVDs. Put away the DVDs. DVDs. Put away the DVDs. Put away your friends. <laughs> Take off. Your sunglasses. <laughs> your sunglasses, right? Take off your sunglasses. Here you have it. Take off your sunglasses. What about the next one? Down, Turn down. down. Turn the down the oven, right? Clean up. Your bedroom. Clean your up bedroom. your bedroom, right? Clean up your bedroom. Now, with these ones, I need you to choose two combinations and write down two sentences on your notebook, okay? okay. Escojan dos. Choose two and write two examples like the ones that we have been creating would you mind can you please will you with the combinations i will make one example with the one that we have here Or I will say at the store. Would you mind picking up some milk at the store? Right? There you have one example. Create two. Not with the milk, okay? Choose two different examples. Write them on your notebook. Set. Teacher, what is take off? Take off. Quitarte. Take off. I'm done, teacher. Okay, can you give me your example, please? Okay, the first one. Could you please clean up your bedroom? I know I am very busy right now. <laughs> <laughs> that is so difficult. Yeah, yeah well, right and now, the, yes, I am very busy. <laughs> and the second one is, could you mind turning down the oven, please? Okay, I will do it right now. Any other example? Got it, teacher. Okay. Thank you. Would you, you mind not criticizing my friends, please? 
Ah, it's because they look very strange, Jenny. I don't know. You have to look for new friends. I'm sorry. <laughs> the next teacher, one. Uh, would you mind, teacher? Yeah. Hello. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Go ahead. Would you mind cleaning up the table after it? Ah, yeah. I have the parakeet effect. ¿Saben cuál es el efecto parakeet? ¿Saben qué es un parakeet, verdad? Periquito. Un periquito. Para. I have the parakeet effect. El que tira viga por tu... <laughs> No, I don't do it, but yeah, that's the parakeet effect. I, I, I make fun of that with my husband. And I say like, ve un periquito con mi aquí. <laughs> And it's a, a, a lot of, of dust there. Thank In you. The second, yes, Jesus, I will do it. Would you mind putting away your shoes? Okay, where? <laughs> in the, in the, uh, what is the name of these things? It's a shoe, I don't remember. I will, the shoe stands, I think. I, I will look for it, la zapatera. I don't remember the name in English, but I will look for it. Thank you. Alejandra. Will you mind not talking so loud, please? I'm trying to see the walking dog. <laughs> you should be paying attention to the class. <laughs> That's good. Very good job. Any other example? Thank you, Alejandra. Someone else? Would you mind picking up children's toys? I, yeah, I am going to do it right now. You say, would you mind picking up the children's toys? Good. Thank you, Joanna. Any other example? Uh-huh. Let me see. Gabriela, Cecilia. Uh-huh. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Cesar. It was Cesar? Who was it? Yes, sir. Can you clean up the bedroom, please? <laughs> que lo limpie ya. <laughs> I'm going to... I love, I love your dogs. They are so... You see, they are just very silent and waiting. And when Cesar speaks, ah, and then keep silent. <laughs> okay, I am going to do it right now, Cesar. Yeah, si no, Kaiser me va a venir a regañar aquí. Thank you very much. Let's go with uh, Gabriela. Will you mind putting away the DVDs, please? Okay, I am going to do it. Let's see, Isabel. Uh, would you mind taking the English class for me? <laughs> <laughs> that, that's kind of difficult because I take it and I teach it. So <laughs> that would be impossible. Let's see. Mr. Miguel Angel. Hello. It's me. Samuel Isaac. Ruth Elizabeth, Catherine Alejandra. Ok, ya verá ser una redada ahí donde la niña Mari, a la pupusería. <laughs> They are together. Catherine, go ahead. Can you not talk so loud? Ah, I am busy buying the pupusas, you say. Literal <laughs> con las manos en la masa. Ajá, uh -huh. definitely. Ah. Jancy, go ahead. Uh, could you mind make this letter, please? Would you mind making this letter, please? For sure. I I can do it, okay? May. Yes. Se hacen cartas de amor. No. <laughs> no, teacher. <laughs> could you mind mail? Ah, mailing. mailing. Mailing this letter. Okay. Yes. Mailing this letter, please. Very good. And, and, and other exam, would you mind taking off your sunglasses, please? Okay. I am going to do it right now. Thank you very much, Jancy. Good mm -hmm. examples. Very good. Yeah, I can write letters for sure. One dollar. All the types of letters that you want. Excellent examples, my dear class. Very good job. Very good job on creating your um, examples. And let's see, I have, okay, Elvira. Elvira is working. Okay, sorry for that. Let's continue here. 
I have some other examples right here. This is what you created right now, right? Would you mind, right? This is the, the second part of the example. Would you mind picking up some milk from the store? Would you mind mailing this letter? Would you mind putting away the toys, your shoes, or anything that you have here on the bed? Let me go here on the next one. I have another example. And it says, throw these empty bottles away. But put them in the, where will you put them? Throw those empty bottles away. Put them in the recycling, recycling bin. bin. Recycling bin. Recycling bin. You cannot put them in the living room and you cannot put them in the refrigerator. Yes. Well, if it is a Salvadorian house, it can happen. Así tienen la botella y la vuelven a poner en la refrigeración. Para que alguien más llene el pichel, dice. Would you mind picking up some? We need coffee, milk, and rice. Some... Grocery. Groceries. Groceries. Very good. Would you mind picking up some groceries? We need coffee, milk, and rice. Those are groceries, the things that you can buy from the supermarket. Turn them off. Water costs money. Faucet. Faucet, right? The faucet. Turn faucet. the faucet off. Water costs money. The faucet is... <laughs> Like a grifo. <laughs> a grifo. In good Salvadorian? Chorro. Chorro. El chorro. chorro. <laughs> All right. The faucet. I love it in English. It sounds very classy, right? Turn oh. the faucet off. <laughs> in El Salvador, it's like, apaga el chorro. Apaga el chorro, vos. El chorro. My neighbor made a... He said, mm -hmm. I will be sure to stop my dog from barking. Promise? I promise. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. Cesar Guadalupe. <laughs> it's not me, is it? It's another neighbor. I will stop my dog from barking. It's a promise, right? <laughs> you see? <laughs> now it's Raul. <laughs> oh, oh my God. Sorry, Raúl, sorry. Okay. The dog, hey, they are talking about me. <laughs> Here you have. This is what we were doing yesterday. We were working on this activity yesterday, and I'm going to show it to you on the book. This was the example that I asked you to work on for today. Here you have the answers, and here you have the requests. Could you lend me $20? And we were saying, sorry, I don't are have. You are you kidding me? Are you kidding are me? You kidding? I don't think so. I don't know you. <laughs> are, you kidding? are you kidding me? You give me $20. <laughs> right? Would you mind picking up a sandwich for me? And you say, like, I'm sorry, I am very busy right now. Could you help me move into my new apartment? And you told me. Sure, no problem. Sure, no problem. No problem. I'll, be, I'll be glad to. Would you mind not smoking here? Oh, Sorry, I'm here right I away. Sorry, I didn't. Sorry, yes. I didn't realize this was yes. the non-smoking yes. section. Yes. Would you please move your car? It's blocking my driveway. Uh -huh. so Move sorry, your car. I'll do it right away. Right away. I'll do it right away. I will do it right away. Right. What is the next one? Would you mind not, would you mind not, would you mind talking, not talking, talking, talking so loud? Not talking so loud. And what is the answer? We're sorry. We're so talking sorry. More quietly. We're talking more quietly. Very good. And. What about, uh, well, that's the last one, right? Very good. So here on the book, we have 
different types of excuses, but let me show the PowerPoint better. I think it's better here. Here on my PowerPoint. I have here one crazy question and for sure you have to give me the answer. Could you lend me your toothbrush? No, you... teacher. I'm sorry, I don't have it with me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't have it with me. But if you had it, you would lend it to me. Ah, what a nice friend you are. Would you mind giving me your cell phone for today? Sure. On block? <laughs> No. Open no. with all the apps open? Sure. No. <laughs> Take it, teacher. Take it. I trust you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No problem. Uh -huh. ¿Le dejaría en el celular a su esposa o a su novia todo el día? Yes. yes. Very good. Yes. yes. Excellent. No. <laughs> okay. Yes. Todo... Are you kidding? Are you... <laughs> <laughs> you see all the Never different understand. all the different wives and boyfriends and husbands of the group tomorrow you are going to have the cell phone for the day okay mm -hmm. <laughs> <It's> like... <laughs> teacher Nati que lindo gracias <laughs> yeah this is being recorded teacher <laughs> this is being recorded this is being recorded you say yes Yes, I will give it to him. Hmm. <laughs> Aquí te habla, quiero ver. Juan, Juan, el mecánico dice. Juan, el mecánico. Okay, uñas la bendición. What's that? Huh? <laughs> ah? Do you take care of my dog for 15 days, people? Could you take Every care of one day? Uh, I have to know. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm allergic to the dogs. I'm, I'm allergic to Okay, just give me one second. Let me see where she is. Is is a husky? Yes. <laughs> well, it is a small dog. It is ah. a boxer. Okay. <laughs> it's a very big horse. It's a little a little animal. Tell me people, could you lend me your house for two days? Sure, why not? Yes, I can. <laughs> okay. Yes, yes. Sure. But empty. Solo la casa, por favor. Could you lend me your house for two days? Now, I have these very crazy requests, and I need you to make one for me. A crazy request. Invent one. I gave you four examples here. Could you lend me your toothbrush? Would you mind giving me your cell phone for today? Could you take care of my dog for 15 days? Could you lend me your house for two days? Here you have four examples of crazy requests. Create one for me and tell me. I am going to see if I can do it or not. Write it down. If you can do it, if you can write it, that's perfect. Ever, go ahead. Teacher, could you give me a 10 for grade, please? Yeah, I can give you, I, I can give you a 10. But you have to keep it. Okay. It's the only thing, right? <laughs> if you don't do the things, it's going to be a nine, an eight, a seven, a six, a four. <laughs> okay. I can give you a 10 for sure. There you go. Let me just write it here. This is forever. Ta -da! <laughs> I gave you a 10. Uh huh. Another crazy request. Could you let? No, could you donate me your long hair? <laughs> eh, I did it once. I can do it again, right? Okay. Yeah, I, I, I did it once and, and it was oh, like, what? Really? <laughs> yes. Nice. I had very, very long hair up to the hips, right? And oh. then I donated for the for the kids with cancer. But it, it's shocking because after having it so long, then you God keep it like, you. then you keep it very short, like Dora el Explorador. <laughs> <laughs> but it was for a good cause. So I, I yeah. really like it. So I can do it again. Don't worry. Right. Excellent. Raul. Uh, teacher, could you 
could you cheer up the party for me? Okay, I can do it. I, I work on that, right? Cheer up the party, right? Animar la fiesta. I can do it. Okay. I work on that. Yeah, yeah, trabajaba de eso. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have, I have been a little bit of everything in my life. I can cheer up the party. Eh, eh, eh. Good, good, Raul. That's a nice request. Any other request? Otra petición? Fisher. Yep. Would you mind let me your car, please? That would be a problem because I don't have one. But I can tell my husband to take his. Don't worry. Que le preste el de mi esposo. It's okay. <laughs> Would you mind lending me, lending me your car? Okay, Joanna. Could you take me to the beach this weekend? I am very sorry, but I work on the weekend. Oh. Maybe we can go on Wednesday, right? <laughs> El miércoles es mi día libre. <laughs> you can go. <laughs> yeah, but, but on the on the weekend, I, I can't. I work. I would love to go, definitely. <laughs> Any Thank other you. requests? Yes? Teacher? Yes? Could you teach me English throughout the year? And would you give me purposes in your classes? <laughs> <laughs> for sure, I can teach you English for the whole year. It will be my pleasure to do it, right? It will be a great pleasure. And let me just find the pupusas. I think I have them right here. Let's see. Okay. Chara. It's a cookie, but imagine that it's a pupusa. <laughs> this is the closest that I have to a pupusa, right? Es lo más cercano que tengo. The beans. Thank you very much. Yeah, it's a it's a cheese and, and beans pupusa. <laughs> Any other request? Alejandra, Jenny, Yancy, Ceci, Ángel, Raúl. Again, teacher, again. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, uh, would you mind, uh, would you mind eating with me next week in a beautiful place? For sure. Having dinner, you say having dinner or having lunch or having breakfast, okay. right? Because when you okay. say eating with Thank me, you. We eat outside, right? Trajimos nuestra propia comida. <laughs> Would you mind, when you invite someone, when you invite someone, you say, Would you mind having breakfast with me, having lunch, or having dinner? Yeah. Having. Good. Very good. Next example. Having. Jenny, what is your example? Having. Would you mind. Um... Uh, pick it up your um, dirty clothes, please. Okay, I'm going to do it. Would you mind picking up your dirty clothes? I am going to do it right now. Okay, <laughs> done. Ceci, what is your example? Ceci? Ceci disappeared. Alejandra? Could you, could you, could you send me a hug? Ah, for sure. I can do it. I can send you a hug. <laughs> for sure. I can give it to you. Don't worry. I would love to. Thank you very much, my dear students. Raul, do you have your hand up again? Yes. Do you have any other questions? Uh, yeah, teacher. Uh, would you mind driving my car uh, next week? Ah, uh, yeah, for sure. I can do it. But I am going to lend it to Sandra. Si me lo presa, se lo presa a Sandra. <laughs> because she needs it. <laughs> Thank you very much. Nice examples, people. Nice examples. Very good job. So I am going to call the attendance before uh, going to the reading because we are going to move to the manual and we are going to practice the reading there. Okay, let me just go here. The list teacher. I am going to do it right now. I am going to call the attendance in this moment. Okay. Let me just check here. Yes. 
we are going to read the reading on the manual. So I am going to stop this one and I'm going to call the attendance. Remember when you listen to your name, say here or present, okay? This is kind of a slow today. Here we go. All of you finished the platform, right? Sections one and two. Yes? Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect. Because they are going to check that tomorrow in the morning. Alejandra Beatriz? Present, teacher. Thank you. Angel Alejandro? Present, teacher. Cecilia de Los Angeles? Yes, teacher. Cesar Guadalupe. Teacher. Thank you. Edgar Abel. Present teacher. Edson Stanley. Present teacher. Eduardo Jose. Here teacher. Elvira. Present teacher. Thank you. Ever Ernesto. Present teacher. Gabriela Michelle. Present. Isabel. Present teacher. Jenny Elizabeth. Present teacher. Joanna Yesenia. Present teacher. Jose Daniel. Good teacher. Carla Fabiola. Oh, she sent me a message on the chat. Catherine Alejandra. Present teacher. Miguel Ángel. Miguel Ángel. Nidia Esmeralda. Present teacher. Raúl de Jesús. Raulito. Here, here I am, teacher. <laughs> Thank you very much. Reina Elizabeth. Reinita. In the chat, Reina. Okay. Right. Oh, present teacher. Good, very good. Excellent. Samuel Isaac. Oh, Samuelito, it's here. Ruth Elizabeth. Yo le escribí en el chat. Thank you. Present. Eh, Sandra Leticia. Present teacher. And Jancy Astrid. Present teacher. Hey, perfect. I have perfect attendance. I love that. That's so nice. I have perfect attendance today. Very good. I hope it's going to be like this every single day. So we're going to read a little bit of summer in the country. Summer in the country. Here we have. How is summer in the country different for young people from the summer in the city? Well, here in El Salvador, it's very different in both cases. I am going to read this one for you. Let me see. Is it okay like that? Can you read it? Está bien ahí, lo pueden leer bien. Yes. Okay. Yes, teacher. Yes. Yes, perfect. Okay. So, let's go here. And it says, before everything, I need you to analyze the reading and tell me if you have any question about vocabulary. Any question about new words or new vocabulary? Before I read it, Hydrant. Which one? Hydrant. Hydrant is the place where you can get water from. They are on the street. Hydrantes. That's a hydrant. Any other one? World away, teacher. And it's like, let's see. But the world away. Where is it? The ah, fourth. But a world away, right? It says like here is a summer camp that's only an hour from New York City, but a world away. It is like, it is close to the city, but it's a different world in that place, right? Está a una hora de aquí, pero a un mundo de diferencia. So it is like, uh, for example, if you are in San Salvador, and you go to a place on which you feel in the countryside. Como cuando llega a un lugar donde se siente totalmente en otro. That is a world away. That's the meaning of that. Any other question? Let's 
The found, it's like uh, the foundation, the place. Pays for all expenses. Expenses are gastos, right? They pay for all the expenses. Son con todos los gastos pagados. So let's go over the reading. And it says, let me just mute all the microphones so I can read. And it says, before I came here, one child said, I thought swimming was running through an open fire hydrant. I thought swimming was running through an open fire hydrant. When people open a hydrant on the street and the water just goes out, right? He has never gone swimming. Here is a summer camp that's only an hour from New York City, but a world away. This camp and four others nearby are run by the Fresh Air Fund since 1877. The fund has helped poor children from New York City spend summers in the country. Each year, over 10,000 children ages 6 to 18 participate in the program. Some stay at a camp. Others live with a host family. The fund pays for all expenses. It is beautiful to have a host family. I have the second part of the reading. Let me just move it a little bit here. I will make it a bit smaller so I can ask a volunteer to continue. What about the second paragraph? Any question here on the second paragraph? Dear. <laughs> exactly like that. Venados. Thank you. What is the meaning, teacher? Counselors. 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 Counselors are like the psychologists. Thank but you. they give you pieces of advice. Consejeros. Counselors. Any other question? Hiking, teacher. Hiking. When you go I'm walking, walking when you go walking in the mountains, right? But in a different type of uh, street. For example, on a normal street, you go walking. But hiking is like when you go to the mountains, for example, that it's a different type of road. Es una calle diferente, es un terreno distinto. That's when you go hiking. Any other question? Hiking. Es como cam caminata en la montaña. Exactly like that. That's hiking. Fishing, right? When you go and catch fish. Fish. The catch fish. Teacher, he helping out. Helping out yeah. with oh, chores. Yeah. Helping out is like collaborate. Uh, collaborate. The children learn responsibility by helping out with chores. Uh, like making beds and waiting on the tables, right? It's like when you collaborate with something. I need a volunteer who wants to help me with the second paragraph. Me, teacher. Oh, go ahead. The camps are for eight to 15 years old. At camp, children can learn about the stars, see deers and cows, and other animals, and go hiking, fishing, and of course, swimming. The children learn responsibility by helping out with chores, like making beds and waiting on tables. They also learn a lot of from counselors who are often college students from around the United States and from others from other countries and from other countries very good job right they learn with counselors the next one from host families to friends for life questions on vocabulary Host families, teacher. Okay, host families is a family who receives you when you are in a different place. 
For example, when I was visiting Arkansas, I had a host family who received me in their house. And I was another children of the family. Like us, Exactly. Sorry? Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Yeah, host family is la familia que te recibe, los que te hospedan. But a host family, they adopt you as part of the family. 13 is... Uh-huh. Yes, Cesar. Cesar, ¿qué me ibas a decir? You are the guest. Exactly, you are the guest of the family. So, any other question? If there are no more, uh huh. Children become. Children become. 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 Okay, the visiting children become part of the family. Se hacen o se transforman o se vuelven parte de la familia. The visiting children become part of the family. Eso es lo que les decía. Cuando tienes una host family, ellos te adoptan como un hijo más. So, and you have to help with the house, you have to help with cooking, with cleaning and everything, like another children. So, eh, Nidia, can you help me to read? Uh, yes. Go ahead. Uh, uh, host families. Okay. Uh, host families from the uh, Philippines, Israelis, and Canada volunteers to help children in the summer routine. Many of these families have their own children. The visiting uh, children become part of the family. They go with the family on picnic, the pool or beach. And on trips, the children are from six to 12 years old when they make their first visit. And most are invited back. Some of the children and the families become friends for life. Excellent. Uh, Reinita was asking about the word trips, viajes. So it happens when you have a host family, the host family remembers you forever and they send you messages and they send you letters and they are always pendant of what's going on with your life. So uh, the kids are from six to 12 years old, right? When they make the first visit, but they are always invited back. Tell me, would you like to have the opportunity to go to the camp? to this type of camp? Aunque ya no estemos, aunque ya no estemos tan children. <laughs> it will be a very beautiful idea, right? It is a very famous thing in the United States, right? To have these camps for kids. Tell me, is the Fresh Air Fund program new? Is it new? It has just started? Ajá, acaba de empezar esto. Is it new? No, it's it signed. No, 1877. It has a couple of years, right? Since 1877. Are the camps far from New York City? Are the camps far from New York City? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Really far? No, no. Uh, they are nearby. one hour nearby. away. It's nearby, right? They are one hour away. They are very close to the city. What are some things children do at the camp? What are hiking, some activities? Swimming, helping out. Hiking, uh, swimming, helping tennis. out. Mm -hmm. Fishing. Fishing, Fishing. good. Learn responsibilities. They learn responsibility and they do chores, right? Chores son tareas del hogar. Very good. Let's see. Does the Fresh Air Fund run only summer camps? 
they only do the summer camp? Or they do they have an, a different activity far from the summer camp? Yes, they are. Which is the other activity? Mm. You have the camps and host families. The host families, right? The host families is a different activity that they do. They have the camp and they have the host families. What about the next one? Can a seven year old go to the camp? No. It's Why from not? Because it's from 88 to 15. Exactly. It's from yeah. 8 to 15 years, the camp. But the seven year old can be included in which program? Host families. In the host families, in the program. Host families program. Very good. Very good. What are some things that children do with the host families? Activities that they do with the host families. Go on a picnic. Uh -huh. They go to the picnic, they go to the pool, to the or, pool, the pool or, the beach. or the beach, or, or, the beach. Or, or, trips. or trips. Very good. They go to the trips. And the last question. The last question that I have here. Can a child who likes, uh, sorry, can a child who lives with a host family go back for a second year? Yeah, that is possible. Uh-huh. How can you know that it's possible? ¿Con qué me respaldas la, la respuesta que sí es posible? Because they are invited. Very good. They are invited back. Excellent answers. You see, I love this type of readings because they take you far from just reading. You have to analyze and you have to see if you are understanding what you are reading. So anytime that you do a reading, cual, cuando agarran una lectura, siempre analicen el vocabulario. Vean las palabras nuevas. Analicen cada párrafo. Vayan entendiendo la idea y de ahí, si podemos contestar preguntas como este, excelente. Because you check if you understood or not. Excellent Thank exercise you. to finish the night. I am going to see you on Monday, people. Have a beautiful night. Enjoy your weekend and practice your English, okay? Have Thank a nice you. weekend. Bye-bye. Nice. Nice. Rest a lot. Bye-bye.